One method of tracing an image to create a cut line is to use a Bezier tool. This can be found on the fourth or fifth tool down in Coral Draw. Clicking on the screen with the Bezier tool places a node. Every time you click, two nodes are joined together. We can use this to create a cut line around our design. The easiest way to create a cut line is to zoom in on the image. Now click in one of the corners of the design. This will place a node. Click in every corner or every change in the contour of the line. This will create a cut line. If for any reason you can't see the cut line, such as in this instance, you can right click on any colour down the right hand side of the screen to change the colour of the cut line. You will now see the cut line is blue, making it much easier to see against black. When creating the cut line, make sure to place the nodes on the inside of the design. This is to make sure that when cutting at a later point, there are no problems with inaccuracy. Continue to click and place a node in every corner or every time the contour of the line changes. Continue this all the way around the logo, ignoring curves. We can come back and edit curves later on. At this point, it does not matter if the positions of the nodes are not 100% accurate. Again, we can edit this later on. Now select your shape tool, which is the second tool down in Coral Draw. The shape tool allows us to edit our cut line and fine tune our nodes. By simply left clicking on the node and holding our left click, you can drag the nodes around and fine tune them accordingly. The shape tool will also allow us to add a curve to our cut line. As you can see, if we now click on the cut line, this will create an asterisk. Now if we right click the cut line and click to curve, we can now left click on the center of the cut line and drag upwards to create a curve. You will notice two adjustment handles appear. Still using the shape tool, you can now left click on one of the arrows and move about the page accordingly. You will notice this adjusts the curve. By moving both arrows accordingly, you can fine tune the curve as required. You can now continue around the logo with the shape tool, adjusting the nodes or curving any area that needs to be curved. Again, you can see here, if we right click on the line, select to curve and drag our cut line inwards. If for any reason you need to add a node to a design, simply double click on your cut line. As you can see, this will add another node. You can then adjust or curve the line in the same way as before. To delete a node, simply double click on the node itself. In this instance, I now need to straighten my cut line. To do this, simply right click the cut line and select to line. Still using our shape tool, we can finish off by adjusting any final nodes or curves that may need fine tuning. Once happy with the cut line, you can now select the pick tool and move your cut line to one side. You can now use this cut line in conjunction with the Ultra Graphics process.